Sorry. So, Mark, Mr. Ambrose. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Are you recording? Yes, she's good. She's Are she good. recording? She's good. Yes, she's good. I don't trust her. All right? <laughs> Mark. Yes, sir. So, tell us, how old are you? I, I literally just turned 24. Probably. You said uh, you're 24 years old, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So, when did you take the course? I got done with it a little less than a year ago. Okay. Um, Take your phone. So, well, actually, I guess more uh, about nine, nine months ago, because we got done in February. Awesome. All right. So, so what were you doing before you came to the course? I was doing security. Doing security, right? Backbreaking. Yep. Right? They're working you hard, right? Working at, uh, was it state, was it state department? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, you can't say. I get it. Okay, so, all right. So now the question now is, are you guys good there? Yep. Okay. So now the question now, Mark. All right. So, how much? Uh, how many job offers did you get? Um, really just one fun one, but that's that's really my fault. <laughs> Okay. Because I, Explain. I, I, I was talking to some other places, but um, after I got the offer from the from CGI, uh, you know, even though it wasn't the most money, it really felt like it had the best growth potential, and um, I, I got to really see myself being there for quite a while. Awesome. All right. So that it was, but it was two job offers that that you had in your plate, right? It was CGI and that other one, right? I was interviewing with a bunch of places, and other places was, uh, I don't know, let me, let me put it up in my email really quick. Okay. I think that's the stuff from Ravi. Uh, let me pull that up. Good, good, good. Oh, uh, yeah, it was Vision Solved. Vision Solved. But, okay. But the problem with that one mm -hmm. was they wanted a, a Linux system administrator. Okay. And, um, I, like, I, I still watch your channel, by the way. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah, I still, I still watch it sometimes. So I remember um, you had a video call with some guy who was, um, I think he was some sort of engineer or something. Okay. And he was talking about how the Linux admins are always like running around and doing a bunch of mess. Exactly. Um, so that was one thing. And the other thing was uh, they really focused a lot about bash Shell scripting, which yes. I know a little bit about. Yes. But I'm not like, you know, that's not what I want to do every day. Right, right, right. Awesome. So, how much was the job office that you got? And which one did you go for? It's really only, well, well this one's just for 70. Say it again. I, we, $70,000? Yeah. And how old are you? I'm 24. You, you're making $70,000 and you're 24 years old. <laughs> Oh okay. yeah, um, I was I was trying to get more, man. But uh, okay, you know, for right now this is a, a pretty solid start. Awesome, so, no, awesome. And and where's this job located? I'll be working in DC. You're gonna be working in DC. Yeah. Making good money. 24, 24 years old, right? Awesome. Yeah. So now the question is, so what? So um, are are you gonna be doing um heavy Oracle stuff? No, I'm doing. I've been working a little bit with Oracle. Um, I'm a systems engineer. Okay. okay. Um, so really, my, my job, we're really doing a lot of uh, production and maintenance for our clients. Good. Um, you need better clients. Good, good, and, good. Um, good. We're going to be working on a team with developers and database engineers and whatnot. Good, uh, good. But I don't, I don't know how close I'm going to be working with Oracle. I haven't started yet, actually. I start Monday. Good, good. So, so your start date is this Monday, right? Yeah. Good. Awesome. So, how was the interview process? Did they, did they, they obviously they asked you some Oracle questions? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, see, this is this is funny. All right. So, I I applied to first of all I applied to a ridiculous amount of places. Say that, oh, can you say that again, please? You have to apply to a ridiculous amount of places. You have to really want to get out of wherever the hell you are right now. Because I took the class 
I, well, I, I got done nine months ago, and there's a lot of people I feel who go through with the training. You pay for the courses and you go through it the eight weeks of hell or however he used to put it. That's it. And wow. uh, I feel like they like apply for like a month or so and they might not get anything and then they just stop. Good. And you're really just screwing yourself. I mean, I mean, it's not it's not really gonna hurt anybody except for you. Who basically wants you to get the job and whatnot. But I mean, it's really up to you once the course is done. Awesome. Uh, so anyways, um, yeah, I, I just haven't been up on applying. I can't say that I was applying like every day for like the past nine months. That's not how it was. I had days where I applied to like 30 jobs and then I'd go like, <laughs> like two months without doing anything just because I was tired from work and stuff. But I, but I kept at it though. Good. And I finally got some responses. For this company, I did a phone interview, and uh, that was about 20 minutes. It wasn't that technical. They asked me a little bit about my background. I told them that I've been you know, training for over a year and a half, which I have, um, because I started that class in like September or October 2016. And ever since the class was done, I didn't, I didn't stop. So, Keep, keep doing the projects to practice and you know so I've, I've been doing it for quite quite some time i've been training so he liked it he liked me he said uh you know what i think i think you'd be a cool fit i'm gonna show you stuff to the project manager and see if he wants to meet up i'll be back like an hour later it was like hey man um uh, Project manager, I thanks you and stuff. So tomorrow you're gonna meet with him at a EBA, and I met with them. And the interview was mostly technical. Um, <laughs> I think I did okay. I didn't do great, and that's just not the fault of anything um, that I can control. There's a lot of EBA jobs where. Um, the only thing you, you need is not just not not not, not just Oracle, you know. Um, they asked me for like some something about Microsoft, something about like that framework and right, uh, right. Uh, yeah. And I just I just told them I was like I mean I I know about it which I do but I haven't used it a lot. And they also this is this is where I I kind of uh, messed up. Well, I didn't mess up. But they really wanted somebody for the position that knew Rack and Data Guard. And I never took that class. Oh, yeah, you didn't. <laughs> I, I, never, I never took that Rack and Data yeah, Guard class. Yeah, you, did, you didn't. You probably could have asked for more money. You see? <laughs> yeah, you did. I told you to. Right? Well, yeah, man. So basically, <laughs> what, what happened, because I didn't know Rack, I didn't know the Data Guard, they called me the next day. We're like, hey man, you better be well. We like you, but here's the thing: for this role, um, we 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 want somebody that knows these kind of things. So, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to offer you a DBA role. So I was like, okay. Um, but, but a lot of companies don't call you to tell you that they're not. Um, exactly. I was like, hold on, where's where's this going? Because he's like talking, he's talking. I'm like, all right. And then it's like, uh, but we really like the way that you presented yourself. You're a young, smart guy. You do you do know a lot. And um, we don't want to offer you the DBA role, but we would like you to join our team of engineers. System of, system of that's it, that's it. Um, and I, I asked him to tell me a little bit more about it, which he did. And then I got a call from the project manager who told me a little bit more about it. And I told him, this was a Wednesday, I told him, give me till Friday to give you an answer. Mm -hmm. um, because only because I was interviewing with two other places. Um, and they were both for cyber 
security risk, which was weird. But they, you know, they found me on a deed. I didn't, I didn't apply for these jobs. They found me on a deed. They, they called me. They found you and they wanted you, right? Huh? They found you, saw your resume, and they wanted to talk to you, right? Yeah. Good. 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 Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And how old are you again? I just turned 24. Just turned 24. Now, my question now is... When did he turn 24? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Now, now what this? Where, where are the other guys who came with you? Where's your crew? Your crew of guys who you used to work with? Where they at now? Where they at now? You talking about the people who had my job or yeah. the people I took the class with? Yeah, the people you took the class with and the people at your job. Where they at now? <laughs> where they at I now? Mean, I don't know. I don't talk to all of them, man. I don't know. Uh, the they quit, didn't they? Is, hey, they quit. They didn't. Yeah, they didn't look, pay the price. Hey, look, I don't. I don't talk to them on the regular. Good. But I do still keep in touch from time to time with Avery. Avery. And I know that Avery. Last time I talked to him was like two months ago. Wow. Um, and he was interviewing with some places. I don't. I don't know how it went. Good. I don't talk to him a lot. We're not like super yeah. close friends. Good. But you know. Good. We, we, we talk sometimes, so. But you pay the price, right? Was it easy? Was the class easy? No, no. Was was the process easy? Um. Honestly, uh, it went it went a lot smoother than I thought. I thought it was going to be a little more too. Good. So, what advice would you give the students coming up now? Oh man, <laughs> for the students now. Uh, it's cliche that I'm saying this, but do the project. Um, I, do, I do remember that some way used to like drill into our heads a lot. And you should definitely listen to that. You should do the project, you should do the project, you should, you should keep training. Um, you know, for, for Jason, I think the story, if I, if I remember it correctly, it could be some like first phone call, first interview, or whatever. I think, I think that's what it is. Like, is that, is that how it would be? Yeah, yeah. First phone call, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First phone call, second day, got a job. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't work like that for me. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. I, I applied to a bunch of places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't, but don't give up. I mean, look, man, you're you're in this class. Basically, I guess you get a career change, you know, potentially change your life, and you can. But it's really, it's it's up to you. I mean, awesome. I mean, if I mean, if you want to give up, then and you can't get too mad at nobody so. Awesome. So what? What do? You, how much? Do you, how much money do you think you're gonna make in, in three years? Uh, I, I gotta, I gotta be at 100 grand. How, what? At least 150, right? That would be nice. <laughs> 150, right? This is my, I, I would, I would love that. My, my, my goal first is 100. Good. I want, I want, I want to get to sit. I want to get to sit. Good. After that, it would be 100. Good, good. But I'm going to try. And I'll Good. I don't, I don't do that. Good, good. You have a, we're just going to take two questions from the class. Yes. Did he have his OCA and his OCP when he started applying? Did you have your OCA and OCP when you started applying? Absolutely not. You said, no. you said what? Absolutely not. I didn't. Um, she, you said he did that's, not. That's, that's my fault, man. That's my fault. So if I'm trying to things like that, they, they might have they might hurt me. They probably did. Um, I probably should have at least gotten an OCA. Good. But I took the SQL during the class. Um, as that. Good. Um, my OCA and OCP, I was, I was supposed to take, I just kept on putting it off, off and putting it off. And next thing you know, it's over a year later. Yep. And I still, I still it. But you still made it. Good. I still made it, though. Good. I still made it, though. So that's, that's what matters. Any other questions from from the class? Was everybody good? Mark, Thank it's you. been great, man. Keep at it, right? You <laughs> start you. you start on Monday, right? I do. I start. I start Monday. Awesome. Keep at it. In the next year or two, if you're not making one hundred fifty thousand dollars, don't 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 call don't him. call me. As a matter of fact, I want my water too. Come give my water. Oh yeah, your water. Yeah, yeah, I want my water. Hey, yes. So I've been I've been real busy lately, but I'm gonna find a way to get your water. It's uh, uh, spring, right? Yes. Give my water. Yeah.
I'll send it to you. I'll, I'll, I'll send you the, um, the new school address, okay? All right? Good job, man. Good job. I'm proud of you. Good job. I'm proud of you. You did good. You did good. All right? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. All right? All right. All right.